Welcome to another coding tutorial and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this interactive grid of ellipses. Let's start by drawing the two ellipses that you see here. So the ellipse function takes in a total of four arguments. The first two are the x and y coordinate of the center of the circle. And then the third and the fourth are the width and the height of the circle. So we want the first circle to actually have the same width and height. So let's do... How about width divided by 2 and height divided by 2 here? And then let's do the size of 100 by 100. All right. And then the other one will be same x and y location. And then let's do 50 by 50. All right. So now we have two ellipses. So let's do no stroke for the appearance. And then let's do fill how we do black for the bottom one and then white for the top one. And I'm going to change the color of the background to white as well. Perfect. So now I want to make it interactive by using the location of my mouse, so mouse X and mouse Y. And I want it to dictate the size here, the size of the smaller circle. So I'm going to declare a variable called distance and distance is going to be the distance between my mouse location, so mouse X and mouse Y, and going to be width divided by 2 and height divided by 2, which is the center of my inner circle. So let's try this. So the dist function here, dist, is a function within p5.js that calculates the distance between two points, and it takes in two coordinate points, right? So xy and xy. All right, let's try that. Play. Okay, so now it changes based on the location of my mouse. But I also don't want it to change at the same exact distance here, right? I want it to give it that ellipse look. So we can play around with these numbers. Right, or do this. So these are some of the variables that you can play around with. So now that we know the mechanics of how these two ellipses work, let's put it in a class. Come here to this arrow, click a plus sign, and then click create file. I'm going to call it circle.js. Before starting writing this class, let's go to index.html file. Then you want to scroll down here and copy this line of code. And then you are going to put in the name of the new file that you just created. So in my case, it's circle.js. And this is how you integrate this new JavaScript file into your program. Let's go back to circle.js. Then now we can start writing a class called circle inside the constructor function. Let's put in two parameters, x and y, and set this.x to be equal to x, and this.y to be equal to y. And then I'm going to write the first method called display to draw the two ellipses, right? So we can go to sketch.js here. So we want Let's just copy all of this for now. So now we want to create the distance between the mouse location and not these two, but this.x and this.y, right? Because we're going to draw a bunch of circles in a grid. And then we're going to draw it out also at this.x and this.y. Same here. And instead of hard coding these numbers here, I'm going to set these as variables inside our class. So let's first do size to be equals to size. Actually, this is going to be a global variable that we're going to set in sketch.js. So size comma size, but this is going to be a variable that we need to create. So let's do this dot how about d1 equals to d1 and this dot d Actually, let's do d width and d height. How about that? All right, so this is going to be this dot d w and then this dot d h. Let's go back to sketch.js and then create a circle object. So we're going to create let c. And then C will be a new circle object. And we need X and Y 
and then d w and dh, right, as arguments. So let's start with the same circle. So width divided by 2 and then height divided by 2. We also need to set the size to be 100 for now. So it's the same as this. And then we're going to put in distance divided by 2 and then distance here. Actually, we need to put in 0, 0, because we have not calculated the distance. So we start at 0, 0 for dw and dh, and then we can change it based on the distance of the mouse in the draw function. So I'm going to comment this out for now and then click run. All right, so now we're going to call the display function, right? So it's going to be c dot display, but we need to also calculate this, right? So let distance equals to mouse x comma mouse y. Then this is going to be what? It's going to be c dot x and c dot y. And then c dot d w will be equals to distance. And then c dot dh will be equals to, let's just do distance for now and then we can change it, right? Okay, let's try that. All right, and then we can change this to, and now we get this horizontal ellipse, right? All right, so let's create a bunch of these circles. Let's start by creating an array. I'm going to create an array called circles, and then I'm going to delete this one. And then we need to declare a few more variables. So let's do columns and rows. Now I'm gonna give the size to be smaller. Let's do 50. Inside the setup function, let's start by calculating what columns and rows would be. So it's gonna be width divided by size and rows will be height divided by size. And then now we're going to create a bunch of objects in rows and columns, right, in this grid. So we need a 2D array. So now we have declared this array and we're gonna create a 2D array by using a nested for loop. So let's start with the outer for loop. So for let i equals to zero, i less than calls, i plus plus. For let j equals to zero, j less than rows, and then j plus plus. Okay, so outside here, in the first loop, we're going to populate the circles array with a bunch of empty arrays. And then inside here, we're going to create a bunch of these circles objects, right? And we're not gonna put it at width divided by two and height divided by two. We're gonna do it at i times size and j times size. I've done a bunch of tutorials where we do patterns inside a grid. So if you're not familiar with this process, I recommend watching how to do that in details. So now that we have a 2D array, circles, and a bunch of objects inside, now let's draw it out. So inside the draw function here, we're going to also use a nested for loop. So let i equals to zero, i less than calls, i plus plus. For let j equals to zero, j less than rows, then j plus plus. Now we also want to call the display function, right? And we need to calculate the distance between the mouse location and the x and y location of all of the circles objects. So Let's copy and paste this code, put it inside our nested for loop here. Distance is gonna be the distance between mouse x and mouse y and circles of i dot x and circles of i dot y, right? And then all of this will also have to be circles of i, circles of i. Actually, it's circles of i and j, don't forget the J, it's in the 2D array now, right? Let's click play. Whoa, this is kind of neat. And this is how you play around with the variables. So what I can do is that I can map this distance between zero and the width. And then I want to map it to, let's do like zero and size. Right, same thing here. Oh, same thing here, and then I want to change this to height. Now let's play. All right, so now it gives you a different look. 
So actually, I want to also shift everything by size divided by two and size divided by two to the right and down. So inside here, let's put size divided by two plus size divided by two plus. Okay. All right. And then we can also, if we were to divide this by two, then we get the ellipse that we want, right? Or instead of doing it here, you can also divide the height here. So there's so much that you can play around now, right? You can play around with how you want to map the calculation of distance here, or you can also change the number of circles that you want to draw, right? And like you saw before, it didn't have to be between zero and size. It could be between zero and, you know, you could do height divided by four here. Wow. This is where experimentation comes in. So see what kind of cool pattern that you can come up with. Give it a try.